welcome back to my channel i'm your host miss john upon and guess what today is 5th september and it is my birthday whoop, whoop. anyway so today is going to be a review of some local products and mostly bj's cosmetics they have a foundation which i'm now about to try out they have a body oil and they have finishing spray and lastly the biggest of it all is they have brushes makeup brushes a full set of it actually so my last you know review was on the bethany beauty this one is going to be on the bj's cosmetics so i'm going to try it out but first off i'm going to do my eyebrow and eyeshadow off camera and then i'll be right back to you know no i think i'll do my eyeshadow because the brushes have eyeshadows in them so just get ready to join me on the trip okay guys so i've opened up the eye brushes and they have five of them and the good thing is it has its initials on it it says bj's but as well as the bethany beauty brushes go this one too doesn't really have numbers on it but you can really tell which brushes are for you know which particular part of the eye so i'll start off with this one it looks like a highlighter brush um it's too you know um what's it called longer for it's too long for you know a crease brush but you can use it for a crease brush but i think it's best for a highlighter brush and then this is a crease brush as you can tell and then the next one is a flat brush a fluffy flat brush yeah and then this is also a precision or dome crease brush and then the final one is no i think this is rather a precision brush and then this is going to be another you know fluffy brush for the eye so i'm going to do one eye and then i'll be right back okay so i'm going to go in with the crease brush and i'm going in with this shade right here it's called mocha from the yoshi palette and i'm using that in my crease area and this one too picks the products very very easy and it blends it out very very well so that okay so i'm going in with this dark shade here called nero i'm placing that i'm using that to draw like an eyeliner and i'm blending it into my crease as well and i'm using the precision brush to do that okay so now the next one to do is i'm going in with the flat brush and i'm picking the shade aura again and i'm just placing that on my lid area so that's the eye look that i am going for okay so moving on to foundation which we are all been, we've all been waiting for i mean i love the packaging i really love the packaging and this is in the shade nine i love how everything is just gold here and i really love rose gold so i love the packaging and it comes with a pump so it's going to be easy to just you know pump it out and that's what i'm trying to do good it's not all that even though it's for matte like you know it's for a matte finish it's not all that you know thick foundation -y like the whole like um maybelline super stay how is very very thick so before i move into foundation i want to talk about their face brushes and they have these two foundation brushes that you can use but i think i'm going to use this for you know contour and i'm going to use this for foundation so i'm going to go ahead and do that It has a perfumery smell with it. Okay, so I'll say it's a buildable, you know, foundation. And it's a Ghanaian based brand, so I'm not too mad at it. Um, it's a buildable foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and keep building it. I'm going out for dinner later on, so I'm going to test this baby out for you guys. You know, a review and see how well it's going to last on my face. And the brushes, I asked her, she told me the brushes are synthetic 
brushes and they go for I think a hundred or 120 Ghana CDs for all the 10 or 12 set I think 10 or 12 five eye brushes five face brushes so there are 10 brushes in all you know I really like it it feels really good on the skin and I just I think I'm going to build it up so I'm going to just keep applying it and then I'll be right back okay so I'm going to test out this brush for my you know contour area and I must say it's blending out really easy I went ahead and I concealed my under eye so um, yeah really blends out very easy and very nice You don't have to apply so much pressure but you know it works yeah I'm just going to use my foundation brush this one to blend out between the contour and the highlight so you can tell the difference well okay so to set my face i'm going to use the uh, powder brush Just away the powder using this the highlighting brush i'm sure so now i am going to contour my face using this the contour brush and I'm going to use my LA Girl contour powder to do so. So moving on, I'm going to use the uh, setting spray, the three in one makeup prime. Set it lucky. I forgot to prime with it, but it's not too late to set with it, you know. So, yes. I'm going in with my Evita Joseph highlighter and in the shade Cosmos and I'm using the smaller brush right now to apply the highlighter. Ooh. Okay. So I think this doesn't have much, you know, movement as let me try the bigger one. Okay. Okay, this applies well. Yeah, this applies really well than the other one okay guys so this is the finished look and yes this is a surprise i have got my first frontal ever and i am liking every bit of it you know it's a glueless one so i just applied a hair gel onto it and i'm going to be managing it just like that you know um i don't know but yeah my lashes are of course from cute lashes gh and this is the finished look i mean what do you guys think about it do you, and i'm going to check in with you guys you know with time to let you know how this foundation is staying put and it's you know really staying put so it's Ghanaian brand so let's just hope how this baby stays put so i'll see you guys in a few okay guys so it's right now 10 p.m and when i finished my makeup it was around 6 30 p.m and i've been out having dinner and all that and this is how the makeup is looking as of now it's really looking good i mean i haven't Put on any sweat or anything like that there's no oil peeking through as you can tell okay a little bit but that's just the highlights are showing you know so you know it's looking really really good and i like it as a Ghanaian brand is a good thing because most of them are mostly nigerian brands that are really working well but as a Ghanaian brand is really working well and so i like the i like the foundation the setting spray really did its job and also what i have to say about the brushes is that i think the bristles are supposed to be a little bit um thicker 
like it's um, from the band from the wand itself to the brush the space between there is very very you know um i don't know how to put it very very thin it's longer than it's supposed to be it's supposed to be dense but it's a little bit longer than it's supposed to be so i'll just say that the next batch of brushes they make it a little bit denser than it is but i said that it blended well it did its job so i'm in love with it i'm going to still use it so that's my final thoughts on it let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below and yay my birthday is finally over so i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys